Hello everyone, this is Akira-san Sushi at the home. Hi. Today, we're gonna make Ikura no Shorizuke, aka Salmon Roll, marinated with soy sauce. We will use this gorgeous salmon roll as it is in season right now. Hello, this is Yuri. Let me take over from here onwards. We got our beautiful Sushiko here. We will start off by making warm salted water to wash salmon roll with. Important point is to heat up water so that we have a salt water of exactly 70 degrees. Let's make salt water with same salt concentration as seawater, which is 3%. Here we have 2 liters, so we need to prepare 60 grams of salt. Mix it well until salt completely dissolves. There are two terms in Japanese that describe salmon raw. Sujiko is this, a salmon raw that's covered in ovary membrane, whereas ikura stands for raw that's been taken out of membrane. Turning sujiko inside out enables membrane to come off easier after this process. Gently dip sujiko into salted water. You might think that hot water will cook through sujiko, but no worries. Now mix well using chopstick or a simple rod. After a while, you can see each pearls falling off as membrane gets tangled onto chopstick. Some restaurants prepare salmon roll with cold water, but by using hot water during this process, it will kill parasites called anisakis. <laughs> Ovary membrane will come off easily like this. Throw out dirty water, then you will find leftover bits of ovary membrane and thin membrane which is around each pearl of ikura. Pick the big ones with your hand but otherwise rinse with water again and again until you find no leftover floating around. Make sure to maintain salt concentration by adding salt each time you change water. After countless washing and training, well actually 7 times for us, you can see that there are no longer bits of membrane floating. Drain it well. And we now have a beautifully separated salmon roll. Now this can be called ikura. Let's sprinkle salt very lightly. This salt isn't for flavoring, so half a teaspoon is enough. Blend it by shaking the drainer, and we will quickly cure ikura for 10 minutes. While we wait, let's make nikiri soy sauce that we are going to use to marinate ikura with. Cooking ratio is very simple. Sake 5, midi 1, and soy sauce 1. Add these into a pan, then put it on high heat, let it boil, simmer for about 100 seconds to allow alcohol to evaporate. Make sure to cool Nikiri soy sauce very well before use. Akira san prepared ice cold water to cool it faster. Let's check on our ikura to see how it's doing. Excess water with fishiness has been expelled, so let's throw this away. Drain it and give ikura a quick mm -hmm. rinse to clean off the surface. Make sure to drain ikura very well here. Don't shake trainer too hard as ikura is fragile. Wait patiently for water to get drained. Our next step is karizuke. Scoop about 70 ml of nikiri soy sauce and pour onto ikura. We will first marinate it for a short amount of time. This is more like curing. Our purpose is to let out all excess water out of ikura so that we can preserve it longer. Let it sit for 20 minutes. It's looking great! Pour it out on the drainer and throw out the first nikiri soy sauce that we were using. Now it's time for Honsuke. This round is the actual marinating time where we let ikura soak up the yummy flavor. Scoop and pour about 140 ml of nikiri soy sauce. 
Let's also add umami using dried kombu seaweed. This will deepen the flavor of ikura. It will make a huge difference, so if you have it, make sure you add it in. Seal ikura tightly with cling film so that no air comes in. Store in refrigerator for 3 hours. Oyasumi nasai! Let's open up and see how our ikura is doing. Can you see how each pearl is plump like a ping pong ball? This is a sign that ikura is now ready to be served. During ikura season, which is set to be from late August, September to early November, sushi chefs buy salmon roll in an ear worth bulk size and put them into soy sauce marinated ikura. As industrial freezer can go as low as minus 60 degrees, we are able to store them for one whole ear. But at home, if you aren't gonna eat it right away, pack it in an airtight container and store in freezer. It's good to eat for about a month. If you are storing in fridge, it will last for about 3 to 4 days. Ikura no shoyu zuke. Marinated salmon roll is now ready. Of course, we love to eat it as sushi, but we also like to place it on top of white rice or mixed rice with seasoned delicacies like ginkgo nuts and maitake mushroom. Harvest from both mountain and the sea in a mouthful. Thank you, Anna. Thank you, Anna. See you in the next video.